I think many people, when they hear the word anti-aging, they immediately think of what's the latest cream for my wrinkles? What can I do for my graying hair? I think we've got to come at it a little differently. And I think we've got to make sure that when we talk about aging, it's not about fighting. It's not about anti. It's about optimal aging. And that's a real key concept that we uh, really like to employ with our patients. And the way we do that is we talk, start talking about cellular aging. If you can get your cells healthy and slowing down their degeneration by what we eat and what we do in our life and what's in our environment, then that's going to reflect on your skin. You're going to have less wrinkles. Your hair is going to not be prematurely gray. This is the important concept to talk about is the cellular aging. And it's about embracing your body and working with it, not working against it. And that's, that's, that's really our approach to an optimal aging program. There's a, a number of what I call superfoods that are doing amazing things out there to help slow down some of these degenerative processes. And there's three key areas that we want to talk about. We want to be eating foods that are going to keep our liver clean, are going to support our intestinal health, and that are going to be rich in antioxidants. And these are scientifically uh, backed by numerous studies to show the connection between slowing down degeneration and living a great life. Some of these foods include in the liver uh, standpoint are going to be artichoke, dandelions, lemon and lime, uh, turmeric. These are wonderful things that have a huge uh, uh, relationship with slowing down degeneration in your cells. From a, a gastrointestinal level, things like kefir, kimchi, sauerkraut, some of the fermented foods, natto. These are wonderful superfoods that are going to actually uh, really populate the good bacteria and keep them fed and healthy, which is going to really help keep your absorption of those nutrients in check and really keep your cells happy and healthy. And obviously we've all heard of antioxidants and these come in all of your dark fruits and vegetables. So I'd like to say eat the rainbow, eat the purples, the blues, the reds, the greens, eat a variety of these and really try to get at least 10 servings a day. This, this is a great way to start with food. There's a, a large amount of research as you can imagine going into anti-aging and, uh, and again my the word that I like to explain is optimal aging. And one of the things that we, we've learned is through science was in 2009, Dr. Elizabeth Blackburn and her team discovered what are called telomeres uh, and the effect on aging. And what we are learning, and we're still in the research phase right now, but there's some exciting research to show us that the longer the telomeres are, and I'll explain what those are in a moment, the longer we live. So what are telomeres? Telomeres, if you think of your chromosome as a shoelace, and at the tip of your shoelace, you've got the little plastic tip. Well, that is actually your telomere. And so what happens if that plastic tip of your shoelace breaks and unravels? Well, the, sh the whole shoelace becomes unraveled, much like this will happen with your chromosomes. If our telomeres shorten and erode, the chromosome die, the cell dies. So one of the things that they've discovered is that there's a number of different agents, natural agents, that can help keep your telomeres at a healthy length. This includes optimizing vitamin D and antioxidants. Some of the real basics are going a long way here, like stress, sleep, having fun, making sure you exercise. These are actually shown scientifically to improve the length of the telomere status on, on your DNA. So this is a real cutting edge area right now. There's a lot more research yet to be done, but it's very exciting. I think the best takeaway we can do if we want to live an anti-aging approach is to learn what we've learned from the Blue Zones. And if this is a new word from you, Dan Buettner has written an excellent book on this called The Blue Zones. And they're about these communities in the world that have a very high populace of people who live past 100 years old. And what they found were the common denominators that all of these people reported that they had a great sense of community. That's family and friends, a great support network that they can uh, rely on and, and enjoy their life with. They also live in a very clean environment. That means that there's not a lot of pollution in their air, and drinking clean water, etc. They're not eating processed foods. That's a huge one. They're eating real food. They grow it, they till it. Real food, whole foods. And the last thing is, is they're laughing. They're enjoying life. They're having a good time. And these are the common denominators that I think that we all need to come back to. And uh, when we look at our life, you know, let's make sure that those are parts of it. And that's really going to help you optimally age.